Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I have something really cool to share with you uh, today. Um, part of the project, part of the cool thing about this project is that sort of being a small business and uh, getting involved in the community uh, gives me the opportunity to meet a lot of other cool guys who are running their own uh, businesses and sort of getting in touch with them. Like for instance, uh, Boxer Tactical. You know, I met him, I met Billy by chance and we're, you know, developing a very cool relationship and, you know, hooking you guys up with uh, cool stuff. And another really excellent thing has, uh, has uh, come my way recently. I had an opportunity to do business with a small company called Business and Customs. And they do uh, gunsmithing, uh, trigger jobs, uh, and full builds on stuff like Glock M&P in 1911. And they also do Cerakoting. And uh, I had the opportunity to uh, send my slide on my M&P out to get Cerakoted. Now, the original finish on this gun uh, has been, you know, a victim of my earliest and gnarliest holsters. And I learned a lot about building a holster uh, so that it, you know, protects the finish of the gun, you know, doesn't cause excessive and gratuitous wear, based on the excessive and gratuitous wear that I put my own gun through. Um, so it was kind of a learning experience. And I had the opportunity to, uh, to ship my slide out uh, and get it refinished. Now, uh, I was talking to, to Lou, the guy who, who owns uh, Business Ends Customs. He's a small business like us. He's a one-man show, and I, you know how much I admire that uh, based on our, uh, our even very recent history here. And uh, I said, you know, I'm thinking, you know, maybe black or flat dark earth or something. He said, no, I'm going to pick the color for you. And he told me he was going to do it in a burnt bronze color. And uh, I looked at some pictures and I said, hey, that's pretty cool. But I got to tell you, pictures don't do it justice. This thing came in this morning. I opened the package and I made, I must have made a noise like a little girl. I was so excited at how good this thing looked. And he did such a top-notch phenomenal job that I cannot believe it. I called him immediately and spent a good while on the phone telling him about how awesome he is. So uh, I want to share this with you guys because I'm just so pumped about it. Like, I can't tell you how excited I am about it. I was so excited that I took a couple minutes at the end of the day here and made myself a uh, holster to match, sort of. I thought the gray would go really well with it. I had some uh, 80,000 Skydex sitting around it, made it in the move, and I said, you know what, I'll, I deserve a new holster. You know, maybe once every six months I'll make something cool for myself. So here we go. I'll show you it to start off. If you'll come over here and take a look. I don't know how, exactly if this shows up on the camera, but the burnt bronze color is simply ridiculous. Now I'm going to take take the gun out, and you know we're not getting any wear and tear on the Cerakote. And I don't know if you if you can zoom in or focus and just get a glimpse of just how immaculate the finish on this gun is. It's a sort of like slightly metallic, really dark. Uh, bronze color. He takes the whole slide apart. The extractor comes out so you don't get like overspray or any weirdness. He pressed the sights out for me. Um, there's no runs. There's no inconsistencies in the finish. Obviously the gun's unloaded. I don't need to tell you guys that. Um, but it's just like it's just staggering how how good this looks. I'll even show you the inside. The inside's even a good job. So let's, uh, let's get in there. I've, I have greased it up since, uh, since it arrived. But even, I don't know if you can zoom in and see this, but even the inside of this is immaculately done. It doesn't like grit or scrape on the rails. It's just as smooth as when I sent it out. And the finish on this is unreal. Like I, before we started this, I didn't know if I was gonna be able to make it through this uh, video without using profanity at how amazing this is. You know, I was pretty sure I was gonna drop some F-bombs and how excited I am about how good this looks, and uh, I don't know, I just want to show this off to you guys. Uh, let's bring the light over here a little bit more. I mean, this looks just so freaking good, and I'm just amazed. Like, I don't have enough superlatives for what a good job he did. And uh, I want to take the time and uh, share that with you. I mean, the turnaround time was phenomenally fast. I mean, I can only hope 
that our holster customers are half as happy as with their holsters as I am with the finish on this slide. It's just like stunning. I've been like looking at it all day, thinking about it, and like just just being excited. It's like a brand new gun, and it looks fantastic. So if you need any kind of work done on your uh, M&P Glock or 1911, get in touch with Business End Customs. Uh, you can find them online at businessendcustoms.com and on Facebook. You know they've got this great. Uh, you know, sort of flyer of a card. They do awesome work. Please get in touch with them and uh, send some, some business to an excellent, high quality craftsmanship oriented small business with a great turnaround time and excellent pricing. So please check them out. I really cannot reiterate how happy I am with, uh, with the job that Lou did on this. So uh, that's, I guess that's more than two cents worth of information. Uh, so please, I really encourage you to check them out. I just like, I'm gushing with how happy I am about this. It just looks phenomenal. So uh, I'll let you know how the finish holds up. I mean, so far it's holding up great. It's been in and out of that holster quite a few times already. So uh, hope, uh, I hope this uh, piques your interest and uh, have a great rest of your day.